Conventional wisdom tells us that we can't shrink our pores, we can only minimize their appearance. But either way, the effect is the same. Pores that are less noticeable lead to skin that looks smoother and healthier and younger. Now, I am not blessed with naturally tiny pores, but I do know what helps. So in this video, we're going to talk about three easy steps you can take to minimize your pores. But this isn't just a chat about skincare. Yes, we will cover some products, but we're also going to talk about what you can do to fundamentally change your pores from the inside out. So a quick hello if you're new here. My name is Fiona and I'm a registered nutritionist with a master's degree in nutritional medicine. On this channel, we talk about how to eat for great skin because true skincare starts on your plate. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button because it really helps the channel. So the first step, which might surprise you, is to switch up your carbs. A big factor determining the size of your pores is the amount of sebum or skin oil that comes out of them. Generally speaking, the oilier your skin, the more noticeable your pores are. And here's the thing, the more refined carbohydrates you eat, so think anything that's sweet, white or fluffy, the oilier your skin is going to be. Now scientists discovered this in the 1960s and it amazes me that it's not more widely known. Basically what happens is that these refined carbohydrates spike certain hormones in your body which send your sebaceous glands into overdrive. But the good news is the opposite is also true. So the fewer refined carbohydrates you eat, the less oily your skin will be and the smaller your pores will appear. And we have research to back this up. In one Korean study, people switched to a low refined carbohydrate diet, otherwise known as a low glycemic diet. Now after 10 weeks, their skin was clearer, it was calmer and their sebaceous glands had even shrunk. It's kind of amazing that food alone had such a dramatic impact on their skin structure and function. So what does this mean for you and your pores? In simple terms, it means that instead of going for the sweet, white or fluffy carbs, you want to go for the dark, dense and chewy carbs. So for example, instead of white bread, you might choose a dark and satisfying rye bread. Instead of some sweet cereal, you might go for chewier homemade porridge or oatmeal. Or instead of fluffy white rice, you might go for a denser brown rice. You get the picture. You can also take this a step further, getting even more tactical about how you eat these carbs by pairing them with some healthy fat or some protein. That will further regulate your hormones, which will help your pores to look even better. Now I talk more about that in this video if you'd like to check that out. So that's step one, switch up your carbs. Step two is to get an oil change. Now the amount of sebum or skin oil you produce will affect your pore size, but that's not the only factor. The other side to this is what your skin oil or your sebum is made up of. Now it's probably no surprise to you that your sebum is largely made of fat and the fat salt oils you eat in your diet are affecting the fatty acid composition of your sebum. And if you don't have enough of the right fats in your diet, your sebum is going to get thicker and gloopier and more prone to blocking your pores, making them look more obvious. So for lovely thin sebum that flows out as it should, you want to focus on getting healthy fats from two types of foods. These are nuts and seeds and oily fish. So let's look at each in a little bit of detail. Nuts and seeds like pecans and almonds and pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds are rich in linoleic acid, which is a type of fat that your skin loves. They're also rich in vitamin E, which acts like a powerful antioxidant, stopping sebum from oxidizing in your pores and turning into blackheads. In fact, research suggests that the more vitamin E you have in your sebum, the fewer blackheads you'll have. Now, be aware here, because there is a big difference between the fats found in whole natural seeds and the fats found in seed oils like canola oil or sunflower oil. The problem is once you heat or process the fat, it fundamentally changes its structure and your skin just doesn't love it anymore. In fact, that type of fat can actually encourage bigger pores. So avoid processed oils as much as you can, but for smaller pores and smoother skin, eat a handful of unroasted and unsalted nuts or seeds every day. Now, as mentioned, you also want to eat oily fish. This is because not only do the fats in oily fish have an anti-inflammatory effect on your skin, but they also help to liquefy your sebum. And remember, for smaller pores, you want sebum that flows out. So aim to eat oily fish like salmon and mackerel and sardines and herring once or twice a week. If you eat an exclusively plant-based diet or you just can't stand the thought of oily fish, then you might want to explore taking an algae supplement which also contains these types of healthy fats. They really are that important for your pores. 
So you've switched up your carbs and you've got an oil change. The last step is to leverage the power of vitamin A inside and out. Now, if you're at all into skincare, which I'm guessing you are if you're watching this video, then you'll know that vitamin A or retinoids in skincare can help to shrink the appearance of pores. We'll come on to that in a moment because another fact that most people don't know is that eating more vitamin A in your diet can help to shrink your pores from the inside out. In one study, researchers noticed that the more vitamin A people had in their blood, the less oily their skin was. More vitamin A also meant more acidic skin, which is another surefire way to minimize the appearance of pores. And when you think about it, this makes sense. Now, most people know that the most potent medication available for acne is isotretinoin or roaccutane. Now, this is actually a synthetic version of vitamin A, and it works by effectively shutting down the skin's oil production. But you do want some skin oil or some sebum. It helps to keep your skin naturally hydrated, and it also helps to keep your skin microbiome in check. But this stuff is like Goldilocks. You want enough but not too much. And the natural vitamin A found in your food is your secret weapon to naturally regulating the amount of sebum on your skin. Now, I often think of vitamin A foods as the foods that your great grandmother would have eaten. So we're talking full fat dairy, whole eggs, oily fish, and maybe even a bit of liver. You can also get a vitamin A precursor in plant foods, but focusing on this isn't the most reliable way to up your vitamin A stores and optimize your skin. Now, I talk more about that in this video if you want to check that out. So start where you can. Have eggs for breakfast tomorrow. Next time you go to the grocery store, choose full fat yogurts. Get your oily fish in. Every little bit helps and your pores will show you that. Of course, putting vitamin A or a retinoid on your skin is also going to help. And in fact, common feedback from people who just start using a retinoid in their skincare routine is that their pores look smaller. Now, there are lots of different types of vitamin A in skincare. If you're new to using them, start with a retinol ester or a retinol form in moisturizer because these tend to be more gentle. You can then work your way up to a retinaldehyde form, sometimes known as retinol, or even a retinoic acid form, which you'll need to get from your doctor. I delve into this in great detail in my video that does a deep dive into vitamin A, and I will pop that in the video description box below for you. So for teeny tiny pores, those are your three steps. Switch up your carbs, get an oil change, and leverage the power of vitamin A inside and out. But because I can't help myself, I'm also going to give you three bonus quick fire tips. The first one is to eat your fruits and vegetables. Groundbreaking, I know. But not only do these give you a natural glow, but they're also rich in vitamin C, which helps to support your collagen production. Now, collagen acts like the scaffolding for your skin, keeping your pores tight and together. Secondly, try a lactoferrin supplement. Now, research here is new, but studies suggest that this special type of protein derived from milk can help to reduce sebum production, in some cases by up to a third. And for that reason, it's also been shown to help acne. Now, now I will pop some example supplements in the video description box below, but as ever, please be safe with this. Remember that this advice is not personalized to you and check in with your doctor before you start any new supplements. And thirdly, get an acid in your skincare routine. Now these will really get in there and clean out those pores. We have glycolic acid, which is probably the strongest acid, but it's also known as the sledgehammer of acids because it's not subtle, so it might be too much for some people's skin. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the polyhydroxy acids or the PHAs, which are the second and third generation acids. These are much more gentle and more suited to sensitive skins. Now we also have our salicylic acid and azelaic acid and mandelic acid and lactic acid, all of which kind of sit in the middle of those two extremes. So have a play and find an acid that works for you and your skin. So to sum up, you can definitely minimize the appearance of your pores. On the inside, you want to switch up your carbs, get an oil change and leverage the power of vitamin A. On the outside, you want to get a retinoid in your routine and also try an acid. You can also take a lactic and supplement and of course eat your fruits and vegetables. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that interesting. If you did, you might like another video I've done on how to repair your skin barrier with food, which I'll pop there for you. I hope to see you there. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another video on nutritional skincare. Thank you for watching.